a few months, a family in Immokalee will get to call the apartment behind me home. I'm Fox 4's Ella Rhodes, and the Immokalee Fair Housing Alliance is building 128 affordable housing units off of Lake Trafford Road. The Immokalee Fair Housing Alliance CEO, Dr. Errol Bunsman, is trying to create a solution for affordable housing in the area. Farm worker families and other low-income families have little but no choice but to rent trailers and shacks that are 60 and 70 years old, filled with mold and mildew and cockroach dust and holes. So there are eight two-story multifamily buildings that are also hurricane resistant. Tom Felke is a professor at FGCU and sits on the Collier County Affordable Housing Advisory Committee. He says the higher cost of living creates a drift which pulls then pushes people to and from Immokalee. Why we're seeing less vacancy in Immokalee is because we're starting to see a little bit of drift. Individuals who cannot afford to be in the Naples, North Naples, even the Golden Gate or Estates areas. He says the Alliance is a small part of the solution. And we're fortunate to have nonprofit organizations that are looking specifically at that population that ordinarily maybe would have gotten pushed out to ensure that that doesn't occur and that they still have some viable housing options. Probably a need for more than a thousand of these apartments. The money for the project comes from grants and donors, not the government, which means the only documentation they need from applicants is what they show their employers. Uh, but that enables us to serve probably 30% of the population of Immokalee that can't otherwise be helped. The people that need it the most. The first 16 units will be finished in June. The Immokalee Fair Housing Alliance says in mid-February they'll start accepting resident applications. In Immokalee, Ella Rhodes, Fox 4.